fat does not belong to body parts. Fat belongs to the entire body, wherever the fat is. Ha, one thing, for a fitness professional to help you, one piece of useless information is where the fat is. You understand? It doesn't matter whether it's on the upper, whether it's on the lower, whether it's at the back of your arms. It is so stupid. One woman comes with a lot of fat under her arm. She complains to the instructor, oh, look at all this fat, you know, when I do Tata Bye Bye, this keeps on doing Tata Bye Bye, even after I stop doing Tata Bye Bye. <laughs> this is fat, I get rid of this fat. So the instructor says, yeah, aapka triceps hanging, jo hai, wo nikal jayega, aap ye exercise karo, triceps karo. Such a big triceps, where the hell did it come from? The woman's never trained in her life. And you must understand certain things. Triceps doesn't hang because muscle doesn't hang. Muscle can hypertrophy and atrophy. Muscle cell can increase in size and it can shrink. When muscles are not used, the muscles don't let go. Fat let go. Fat hangs. See, understand one thing. Fat will hang. Fat will sag. Fat will jiggle. Muscle cannot jiggle. Are you getting my point? You want to test your fat percentage? You want to know how fat you are? Very simple. Stand naked in front of the mirror, then start jumping up and down. Then stop jumping up and down. Whatever still jumping up and down is <laughs> fat. <laughs> Muscle doesn't do that. There, there is this um, uh, very uh, uh, normal, very common story that people talk about. Oh, my uncle was Mr. Goa. My chacha was Mr. Maharashtra. Or something like that. You hear these stories. He was very good at his time. But all that muscle he has built now, now chacha is all hanging, like all, everything is sagging. Why? Because he did bodybuilding. Because all that muscle and finally started like going. No! Your chacha is now sitting with two, two beer batlis, having this much amount of chakna every day. <laughs> that is why he's fat. Not because he, bodybuild, he did bodybuilding when he was young. He has stopped bodybuilding now. Muscle doesn't hang. Get what I'm saying or no? They're different tissues. So understand when a woman has got fat here, see I'll show you one very simple thing. See this, let's assume this is a pointer, okay? Now you all know under the skin there is fat and muscle. I take the pointer and I point here. The name of the muscle under the skin is called as pectoralis major. Name of fat, adipose tissue. I shift the pointer here. The name of the muscle is called as rectus abdominis. Name of fat, adipose tissue. I shift the pointer here, the name of the muscle is rectus femoris or the quadriceps group. Name of fat, adipose tissue. I shift the pointer here, name of the muscle, gluteus maximus. Name of fat, adipose tissue. What did you learn from this? There is a different label to every muscle on the body, but the same label. There is no thigh fat, ab fat, buttock fat. <laughs> you understand? A family membership comes to the gym. Fat mother, fat daughter, fat son. Who will talk? The mother will talk. So she'll tell the instructor, listen, I am bottom heavy. My daughter is top heavy. You should also know that 90% of the women are bottom heavy. That's the gynoid fat distribution pattern. But 10% of the women happen to be top heavy also. 10%. That is the actual ratio. So 10% of women are top heavy, upper back, chest, back of the arms, they gain fat more there than on the lower body. So you've got top heavy women, you've got bottom heavy women, and most men, as long as their hormonal balance is intact, will be on the tummy. When a man's estrogen level rises, that is when he starts getting fat around the nipple area, which is called as gynecomastia, or fat deposits around the hips. A feminine pattern of fat deposition, when estrogen levels go up. But if the hormones are normal, then most women, 90% of the women, fat here, 100% of the men fat here and 10% of the women might get fat on the underarms and upper back and chest. Okay? Top heavy. So here this mother very knowledgeably says, see, I have got fat on my hips and thighs, my daughter upper body, my son on the stomach. So, yes, you may have done the course, but I know. So give me more lower body work. Give my daughter more upper body work. Give my son more abdominal work. See, she's a genius. <laughs> she came programmed with fitness knowledge from birth. She'll look at the program. 